Deadly overdoses linked to fentanyl are on the rise in Central Texas. Now, Texas State Representative James Tallarico is looking to push a bill to the House floor that would legalize fentanyl testing strips here in the state. A similar bill was introduced during the last legislative session, but did not get very far. KB's Nally Haddad shows us his plan to get bipartisan support. Despite a rise in drug toxicity deaths and reports of fentanyl overdoses in the state, fentanyl testing strips are illegal in Texas. Still, that hasn't stopped some lawmakers from filing bills to legalize them or from receiving bipartisan support to do so. Still, these bills struggle to make it to the House floor. So the legislature has to act. We have to do something to protect our own citizens. This issue is a public safety issue. State Representative James Tellerico says it's a matter of life and death. He filed House Bill 85 this week, looking to legalize fentanyl testing strips in Texas. If we don't pass this bill, Texans are going to die needlessly. Fentanyl testing strips can detect the presence of fentanyl in different kinds of drugs and drug forms, helping prevent drug overdoses and reducing harm. They are low cost and, according to Tellerico, absolutely necessary. What we have available to us are these testing strips that are legal in 19 states in the U.S that can save lives by telling Texans if fentanyl are on the uh, drugs that they're taking uh, and it can stop them from taking it and hopefully save the life of a, of a son or a daughter, a, a mom or a dad, a grandparent um, who may be struggling with addiction and we can give them the tre treatment they need. Harm reduction services, like providing fentanyl testing strips, has been a pillar of President Joe Biden's plan to attack America's overdose epidemic, which took more than 104,000 American lives from September 2020 to September 2021. But the concept has received pushback from some who argue it encourages drug usage rather than trying to help people abstain altogether. I'm hopeful that, that Democrats and Republicans will come together to pass life-saving legislation like this. Now on the local level, Travis County Judge Andy Brown has long pushed for the legalization of fentanyl testing strips. Most recently, Austin Travis County purchased and received thousands of doses of Narcan to help combat the issue of fentanyl in the area. In Austin at the Texas State Capitol, I'm Natalie Haddad.